All right, guys, this is Team with Viridis, back with another video for you today. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of this Zuka Compact Cart. Um, there's going to be a lot of information regarding this cart. Uh, I've used it probably quite a number of rounds. I actually use it mostly for tournament play. I have not used it for casual rounds, so my setup for this review is going to be mostly about the tournament play setup. Um, this cart, the color is a little different from what you see on Zuka's website, only because I purchased this cart. Um, it wasn't purchased, it was part of a player's pack at the Ledgestone Insurance Open here in Illinois for 2021. So the cart uh, color combination is the red cart, the blue um, material here, and then the red wheels. And, um, and then I'll talk about the rest of it um, in a moment. But yeah, let's uh, take a, get you a little closer look to the cart and then we'll, uh, we'll break it down for you. Okay, now that we got you guys in a closer look, I'm gonna do a walk through really quick of what the cart looks like and what it comes with. So I wanna let you know that this top piece right here does not come with the cart. The cart only comes with the red part here, which is made of aluminum or uh, some kind of lightweight steel and this um, Cordura fabric and the wheels themselves and obviously the telescoping, telescoping pole. Um, it does not come with the, um, the flask pouch or the putter pouch or this cushion. So I'm going to do a quick walk around really quick. It also comes with another thing which is inside the cart itself right now which are these pouches right here and it comes with these and these pouches are not waterproof neither is the zipper itself um, it just has this clear clear side and then an underside that is just a cordura texture and uh, they're both identical and they have a little bit of a, a, gr a grip here a strap here to hold it I generally don't use this, or at least I didn't use it. I think I've played in three or four tournaments with this card already. And um, most of the tournaments were um, two round um, two round tournaments. Um, one of them was actually three rounds for that tournament. So like I said, these um, I, though during those rounds, I didn't really use these. Um, however, one of the rounds end up um, having um, rain in the forecast so i end up did using these to put my cell phone and my keys and my wallet and then i stuffed it right in here so that it's uh it's out of the uh it's not in the rain this also has a rain fly that is sold separately i'll show you guys what that looks like at the end of the video but uh, let's go ahead and get started with what comes with the cart if you purchase just the cart alone so let's start off with um, the cart actually comes like this with this all coming out like this and this is how it comes and like I said this is the Letchstone insurance open version so it's got this blue and red right here um, if you go to Zuka's website it comes with uh, different colors that are you won't find this on the Zuka's website you have to go to the Letchstone insurance open store website to get this particular color scheme so I went to the tournament I uh, signed up for it and I had the option of getting the Zuka cart or a, um, a grip bag with the same color scheme I have so many grip, uh, not grip, but I have so many disc golf bags that I decided to go with the cart itself because I, at the time I did not have a cart um, at all and I've never used one and I wanted to try a cart so I chose this and the compact was the version that, um, that was available for the players pack. This retails at $199. I believe you can get it for a little less from Let's Stone Insurance Open. I think they had it on sale for $169.99. And I don't know what the price is now on Zuka's website. I think it's still $1.99. I generally don't talk about price with my reviews because that changes. But um, I figured I'd just mention that right now. So let's start on this side. The wheels, like I said, it comes red. Usually with Zuka, they come in with black wheels. These are not air. They are foam tires. So you don't have to worry about it going flat. Um, when you get the cart out of the box, these not... Um, the wheels are not attached yet, so it comes with these knobs right here and this knob right here You will have to put the wheel on and you have to feed it through the cart 
and then you uh, tighten it down with with the uh, black knob right there it does not come with instructions um, at all so that's the downside of this but I believe uh, you can find videos online how to put together but it's really simple just feed it right through the axle and then put the knob on and like I said this is a metal um, aluminum I believe construction with the red I do like this red color I think that looks really cool like that I, I'm generally a fan of red so that's why I'm okay with it it's got the Zuka cut into the aluminum right here it also has um, aluminum screws right here not sure what that's for because it doesn't look like it's holding anything in it does not hold this in at all and then um, on the other side of the cart, pretty much identical, same red wheel. And then on the back of it, uh, the cup holders did come with the cart. This is not extra, this is, comes with it. They are a little flimsy though in my opinion, but uh, I'll get to that once we get to that part of the video. Right now I'm just going to want to finish the walkthrough here. And then when you take the cart out of the box, this fabric this blue fabric right here the Cordura fabric is already attached to the red frame itself so you do not have to put the blue fabric part together it's already uh, attached to the cart itself so you can start using it right away after you attach the wheels to the axle all right so then um, the reason why there's a zipper and a velcro here is so that you can actually unzip it and remove this completely to expose the internal frame right there there's the red internal frame and the reason why they do that is because you can actually take this off and either wash it and let it air dry obviously hand wash it I would not put it in the, uh, the dry uh, the washer but you can kind of rinse it and then air dry it or you can actually buy different internal fabric um, housing for this cart and then replace it so that you can get this red combination with a black one or something with a print and I've seen people do that where they have a black frame or a red frame and they have a different color um, fabric housing for the cart so that's why Zuka did it that way and then it's got a elasticated pocket right here this pocket is actually really big and I'll show you that at the uh, towards the end of the video when we put discs in here it also has a little sleeve right here and I'm not sure what this sleeve is for because I don't think you can put a pencil pot in here because the pencil will um, go right through it but I think you can get uh, a marker in here if you have the cap um, clip then it will fit in there just fine <laughs> moving on from there this is the front of it with the Zuka embroidery right here it's got double zippers and then you flip it up and then inside this piece right here this divider comes with the bag the divider itself does not come like this it actually comes flattened in a plastic bag and you kind of have to um, finagle it to fit in here and so basically this piece right here is facing outward but it's kind of slanted a little bit so it can hold the discs inside and then again it's blue to match with the blue casing right here compared to black and then inside it's got another piece right here and this piece right here it's also velcroed into the top again it's a little slanted like this to hold the disc in or to hold this in so that it's not um, slipping out easily like because of the the tilt upward tilt and then it's got the little divider here um, the divider you cannot remove it has it's actually sewn onto the front piece right here and it's got a velcro towards the back hopefully you can hear that and therefore um, that divider is stuck on there and you have to leave it there the Zuka cart um, Zuka company also makes a plastic rack a plastic with an aluminum rod rack that you can replace this completely I have not gotten around to that because they're out of stock and I could not get a hold of one so to show you guys so uh, right now this is just the fabric cardboard that um, that comes with it and that's the front of it the back of it is this I'm um, sorry the other side is identical it's got the elasticated pocket um, just like on the other side along with the same sleeve that's right here all right moving to the back of it like I said the cup holders 
they do not come attached you actually do have to attach these they come with these screws right here and you're just going to attach it to the red frame itself and then you'll adjust this using this little this little knob right this little screw and it does come with an allen wrench and that screw uh, goes in and out to adjust this piece right here to allow basically to accommodate smaller or bigger water bottles all right moving on to the accessories let me go ahead and show you what some of the accessories are all right so now i got you um facing up a little bit here these are the accessories that you can purchase for the zooka cart before i left for my tournament in uh, to uh, central illinois i went to a shop near my store and they recommended some of these accessories so that it could make my round a little bit more comfortable and one of the accessories is this little pad right here so it comes with this snap right here and it comes off and it has a velcro piece that velcros Basically, there's a handle right here. I'm going to go ahead and remove it so you guys can see what it looks like here. It's just like that. So, the top of the Zuka cart, there's this handle. And this handle is to allow you to pick up the cart like this with just one hand if you needed to. And it's a really light cart because it's, um, it's, uh, it's the compact version, whereas the longer version holds, I think, up to 35, 40 discs, where this is only holds up to 22 discs, I think, is their maximum rating on this one. So this is the cushion right here. It comes like this. It's got this Velcro piece here, and this goes around the handle, and then the snap button goes around the pole in the back, and that's what holds it in place. So let me go ahead and put that back together. And Dynamic Disc is um, um, joined up with Zuka, so some of the, their accessories says Dynamic Discs on it. But if you want to get just a Zuka branding only, well, this does have a little Zuka branding on the side, but it's black and it's stealth. Uh, but if you want a Zuka brand only, you can go to Zuka's website and purchase this. I just got this one. It fits the compact. It happens to be the Dynamic Disc uh, version, which is exactly the same. And then the back of it, this is a Zuka Hydro, um, it's not a Hydro Flask, but it's basically a, uh, an everything pouch. Um, it comes with this zipper pull right here, and then it opens up like so. And then it has a Velcro pocket on this side, a Velcro pocket on this side. It does come in different colors. I believe the only two colors that I saw at the store was black and gray. I just got the black one because I didn't realize the cart came with as blue and red. But it didn't matter, I figured the black would go with anything. And inside the pocket you can put the things in there, like right now I have the Rainfly in there. And it's just a really good sized pocket. Um, it's not insulated, so therefore if you're going to put a drink in there, it's um, not going to stay cold unless you have a Hydro Flask. And this is the Zuka Putter Pocket. Holds two putters up here. It's got another pocket. This is where I normally put my... Um, my um, my birdie bag to dry my hands. I don't put my phone here because my phone's too tall and it, it kind of falls out. It also has uh, pencil holders on the side right here and uh, on both sides are identical actually. So um, that's the putter pouch. Um, there's a pocket up here. This is where I put my phone if I'm the one keeping score or I put the scorecard up here and then my two putters go here. And then the way these attach are actually um, uh, Velcro uh, straps here you can hear it right there so I just have it attached right now the putter pouch has a big long uh, velcro piece and then a small one to accommodate for this in the between this is to lock these telescope scoping um, handlebar into the Zuka cart I believe these are just to hook on carabiners to hold your towels and whatnot. So that's what I use it for. Is that just kind of like hook my towels on here. I sometimes even hook it on this little uh, wire right here, my towel. And that's the accessories that I purchased for this cart that are at least available. I've seen people do crazy things with this. I've seen people get uh, side saddlebags for these cards as well, especially the big ones. And then as far as the telescoping handle itself, it's made of aluminum. It is not colored, as you can see right here. Um, so it's aluminum color. It was easy to put together. Um, there is a little, there is a little um, black knob here 
that once you put the skull, the uh, bar in, you just tighten that down and that stays in place. And then it has another one up here with a button like this, so it goes up and down if you need it to. Uh, I'm pretty sh so you, as you can see, it goes up and down. I'm a pretty short person, so I put it in the lowest position, um, and it still fits my all-in-one pouch here and my putter pouch. I've seen people also put this right here at the bottom of the cart, like down here. I did not do that because once you do that, uh, so basically there's more room on the on the pole here for for the cart if you want to put other items, uh, other attachments here. But when I put this on the bottom right here and I fill it up with some of my stuff, it would drag on the ground really bad. So that's why I don't have anything down here, but that's just my experience and I don't really have any of the accessories that would fit down here, you know, perfectly without dragging on the floor. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with discs and items and then I'm gonna uh, show you what it, that looks like. And then I'll finally finish off what my thoughts are and uh, why I chose the cart versus the bag. Well, you already kind of know that. And then whether this has met any of my expectations as a disc golf cart. All right, now that I got the cart filled with discs and basically things that I would normally use during a tournament round. So I have the towel hanging right here from this um, wire that I showed you guys earlier. And then um, I have discs filled in here. I'm gonna show you what I do with this flap because uh, I got a little confused when I first got the cart because I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this flap? It doesn't have any Velcro or anything like there on there. And I don't know if these zippers are YKK and the zipper pulls are nice, but the, y the, the, z the zippers themselves, I do not believe are YKK zippers. Um, but the reason, the reason why I got confused is because there was no Velcro on here. So I didn't know where to, what kind of where to put it. Well, there's a little gap right up here where you see where my hand is. Uh, this little gap, uh, this actually is Velcro to the top of this red piece right here, the red metal piece. So um, what I did was I just rolled it up out, outwards on its, onto itself here. And then I just kind of tucked it in between that little gap. Make sure that everything is opened up all the way here. And I just tucked it up there like that. And it ended up working just fine doing it that way. And it stayed put. It did not fall back down when I was using it during the round. So that's how I was able to put this flap and get it to stay up. The two pouches, were, I didn't put anything in there because um, honestly, items that you put in here is up to you what you guys want to put in there. But I want to show you something. Uh, the reason why I have this out is because I want to show you something about this, this card. There are two discs in here that will fit. Right now I have two putters. You can fit more discs in here because look how loose this is. However, the way this card is made is for the discs to go in like this and not flat like this. So this pouch was really meant for these, these, these little pouches here, this pocket I mean. It's meant for these little pouches. But I used it for disc on uh, some of the rounds if it wasn't going to rain because I use the accessory pouch that I purchased for all of my essential items. However, when I put the disc in here and I try pulling it out, as you can see, it is not coming out because this frame is not wide enough for it, the width of the disc to come out. So you, I have to turn it a little bit and tilt it like this in order to pull it out. So you can use this pocket right here for this. You're just going to have to lean it a little bit on a diagonal to get it in and out of that pocket. So I just wanted to show you that really quick. If you decide to do that, it's kind of a pain to take it out. As for the main compartment down here, so you can see this flap right now, this is not going to roll out when you lift it up to move it like so, or when you set it down, it's not gonna wanna jump out because it's got this little flap that's facing up at an angle. So right now I have 15 discs in here. They are a mixture of uh, one fairway driver, a few, I'm sorry, one mid-range, a few fairway drivers, and the rest of them are distance drivers. There are 15 discs in here, plus this, these two, if you, if you wanna use this, pa, this pouch as for discs, it's 17. 
The side pockets, you can use for a number of things. You can use them for extra towels or even this. So if I have it configured right now, if you want to just carry maximum discs with this compact cart, this is how many discs I have in here. 15 in the middle compartment, two at the top pocket. That's difficult to use, but it's there. So that's 17 plus three, and these are, these are mid ranges. I mean, so you can put more than three in here if they're drivers, but I just put mid range just to show you how much space this cart actually has. So that is 20 right now. And then we have 20 on this side. I'm sorry, <laughs> three on this side. So that's 23. Then two putters on the back. So that's 25. So just to show you, that's 25 discs that this can carry. And that is, look, that's pretty much like almost half of it is, are putters and mid ranges, and the other half are fairway drivers and a few distance drivers. So it can carry a lot of disc if you were to use it just to carry discs. Um, so now, I'm gonna go ahead, if it's gonna be rainy, then what I do is I take these two discs out, and instead of carrying 25 discs, um, sorry, was it 15, 17, 6 is 20, 25 discs. I leave this pocket open, take the discs out, and then use these to put my essentials in there and put them in here um, so that they keep the uh, essentials, my wallet, my keys, things like that, um, dry. And then, and then I put this flap down. Actually, I don't put the flap down. Um, I, I keep these in here to keep my essentials dry and then I put the rain cover, the rain fly over. So then even with the two discs removed, that's still 23 discs, which is still a lot. And if I need to bring extra towels because it's going to rain, then I'll put the towels in these pockets and I'll carry a little bit less discs. So I'll take three of these out. So now we're down to um, 20 discs and put the towels on this side. And again, the rain fly goes over it and keeps it dry. And then as for this back here, um, if it's a dry day, I still have the rain fly in case it rains and then I'll put my essentials in here, my wallet, my keys and um, any extra towels go in here. I carry a ton of towels. Um, so I'll carry extra towels at the bottom of this if I need to. And then the side pockets themselves, again, I can put extra keys and phones in here if I wanted to or a neutral grain bar. If it's a long round, I'll put a neutral grain bar or a banana on, on those side pockets. And then this up here is the birdie bag. It would go in here. And then um, right now I don't have pencils in here, but during a tournament run I'll have pencils. And then I just want to show you what the phone looks like. Put it in here, right here for you. So there's a po the pocket up here for the phone. It does hit this a little bit, but if you're a taller person, you can telescope this up higher and then move this down a little bit and you won't have this problem with the phone. Uh, it doesn't really bother me because I just shift the phone to the side and then pull it out just like so here. So. And then the towel right there. The last thing I want to talk about on the cart is um, the cup holders. So right now I have a 22 ounce bottle on this side. Let me go ahead and turn it around. I'm going to use the handle so you guys can see. So we have a 22 ounce here and a 40 ounce here. I've adjusted this to fit the 40 ounce by loosening it, loosening it up. And then the 22 ounce, I have moved this inward to hold this because when it comes standard, this falls out really easily. I want to show you something about these cup holders. If you get a bottle that is colored, this is what's happening to it. It's causing a ring of wear around the bottle and the color is coming off due to this metal piece right here that is biting through the paint on the bottle. So just know it doesn't bother me. I don't really care. As long as the bottle still functions to keep things cool, I don't care. On the black one, if you get one that's black, it does have a slight ring on it, but not as bad as if it was a bright color, color like the 40 ounce bottle. This will hold um, a smart water bottle and it will not fall out. I've used this cart trekking through uh, mountains and through uh, tons of hills and elevation and the smart water bottle does not fall out and neither does the 40 ounce. However, if you use a 16 ounce, or 16.9 ounce water bottle, it will fall through this little hole down here because this opening is just big enough for that bottle to fall through. So just keep that in mind. The next thing I wanna talk about is using this cart on hills. 
It is so light, and when you put things in this pouch right here, let me show you, this pouch right here, and you put things in here, and you, there are two water bottles that are filled with full liquid, it is back heavy. So if you go up to a hill, and you park it like this, just slightly, even a little bit, this thing's falling over. And then uh, I've had that it do that to me while I was putting. So in order to combat that, when you get up to a hill, you kind of have to like leave it on a, um, if the hill is facing up this way, if there's an incline like this, you kind of have to turn it around and point the front of the cart downward like this. And that for me seems to help with it not tipping over. And if you put it in a down, so if the, the hill is pointing up like this incline, and if you put the cart down like this, the two feet, bottom of the feet kind of holds the cart so it doesn't roll down the hill. Because the wheels are in the back, but the front is just two feet that are kind of digging into the ground on a, a down climb, so therefore it won't roll. So that's what I've discovered using this cart. In certain situations where the hills kind of incline a little bit this way and then incline a little bit on the other way, I kind of put the cart on, what I do is I put, I position the cart where it's like, the incline is like this. So if the incline is going up like this, but there's also a roll down that way, then I kind of just leave it like this so that again, the little feet right down here kind of holds the cart in place and that it doesn't roll down. So you gotta learn to play with it. There's a little bit of a learning curve using the cart with uh, hills and whatnot and, and elevation. The other thing is that going downhill, um, um, I have to put the cart in front of me because if I'm going downhill and I put the cart behind me, gravity is helping the cart push me down. So all this weight right here is pushing me down the hill. So if I let the cart go in front of me and lead going downhill, then I'm able to control the speed because I'm the last thing um, that's pushing down with gravity. So I get to control how fast I go. Um, so then I can pull this back a little bit or release it and then gravity will pull it down the hill. So letting the cart lead me down the hill gives me more control. And then when I go uphill, letting the cart uh, go behind me, meaning I lead up the hill, then I have more control versus trying to push the cart up the hill. If I push the cart up the hill, I'm pushing against the hill. And so basically the cart's going into the hill and it's harder to push it up the hill. So that's what I've learned about using this cart. And I would imagine it works for any cart in that situation. The last thing I'm going to do is put these dust back in here, put the rain fly on for you, and then um, that should be it for the video. And if you have any questions, obviously leave it in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Okay, so now I'm working on the rain fly. And the rain fly that comes with, um, not with the zoo cart, but if you buy the rain fly, it will only cover just this portion of the cart. It does not cover the accessories, it does not cover the little extra pouch that you have here. Those you'll have to find a plastic bag of some kind. So the, the rainfly comes with a pouch itself and the pouch does have a, um, a cinch buckle here. And then when you take the rainfly out, it's got the Zuka logo on it and it's made of this waterproof nylon material, which is really nice. And um, it's got two little elasticated holes at the basically little cutouts with the elastication right here these go the feet of the front of the bag goes into these holes and then it faces forward like this so let me try and show that to you on camera so the elastic pieces go in the bottom like this let me do this without it falling over hopefully just like that And then once that goes underneath, it just pulls up over the top and it wraps around the side pockets as well. I'll show that to you. Right there. It wraps around the side pockets and you can see it just angles to the cart. I pull it onto the other side too. And then in the back of it, it has It has a little bit of a cinch buckle here, and you just cinch that down. 
like so. There, I cinched it down. It's in, right in the middle of the, uh, the fly. And then once that's down, then now you can just turn around and see what it looks like from the front. So that's what it looks like with the rain fly on. And I have played in the rain with this. Uh, it was very interesting saying the, to say the least. It does its job of keeping the side pockets um, dry. However, to get to the side pockets, if you have discs that you need to use, you have to lift this up like so. So you have to kind of loosen up this top part to get to it, to pull it out. And when you do that, all the other discs are getting wet. So that's my one gripe about this layout. And then when you're trying to put it back in, again, now the other discs in that pocket are getting wet. And then you have to pull it back. So it kind of defeats the purpose of the singeing mechanism on the side. So I think they should have done a flap here with the, either a Velcro closure or a magnetic closure and just kind of open the flap up so that I don't have to remove this whole entire half side of this fly off. But, but the front works great. Um, it has a double zipper just like the main pocket and it goes up like so. Again, I wish I had a Velcro here like this. So when, I'm, when I lift it up, I get to the main compartment and I pull it out and then I push it down had a velcro because I have to keep zipping it down just to keep the rain out and then unzipping it and zipping it down and unzipping it every time I go to my, my main compartment so that's my one grab about this I wish I had either a, a velcro or magnetic closures like some other products on the market but otherwise overall it works pretty well as a rain fly if you just had the zipper down like that and I don't have the zipper all the way down but just enough so that it doesn't fly up when the wind comes by and water gets into it. But yeah, that's pretty much how the rain fly works. And the zippers are water resistant, so water won't get in through the zippers. And the material is pretty thick, thick enough to keep the water out. And once you open that up, you have access to your main compartment perfectly fine. All right, let me zip that back up. And that is how it looks once it's on. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, give me a, leave a comment below or you can email me um, at verydisc at gmail.com. Otherwise, um, I think that's all I needed to tell you. Um, the cup holders, I've heard people complain about them, that they, they break easily. And um, I can see that happening. I haven't had that issue. But I also, um, I'm not really rough with my equipment like some people are, so maybe that's why they're having issues with it. Um, it is flimsy, I will tell you. Um, this plastic piece here, I think if, if I use it like pretty much every other day, I can see this falling off because you can see how flimsy this is. And so over time, this will fall. And I didn't see any aftermarket or um, higher quality more durable uh, cup holders that Zuka has made available so maybe that's a concern so maybe that's the reason why uh, you would not want this card or maybe it's a reason that you should get look at different options for the cup holder but some people use this little pocket as a cup holder but I'm okay with it I don't use it um, that rough and I don't use it often enough to worry about that but um, I do like this cart for its size. The compact size is pretty amazing. So if I know I'm only doing 18 holes for that tournament round, I will use this cart um, if I need to. And uh, Okay, so that's pretty much my overall review of this Zuka compact cart. Um, my expectations were to get a cart to help with my tournament rounds because carrying a bag around it causes uh, strain on the back and the shoulders and you know for disc golf we use our shoulders a lot and our back to throw our discs so I chose the cart over the back for a uh, number of reasons number one is because I had a ton of bags already so I didn't need another bag number two I never had a cart and I wanted to uh, see what a cart could do for me and then number three, I wanted to uh, make sure that some of the courses I was playing at during this tournament, I can utilize the cart to help with my fatigue, especially some of the courses were really difficult. So um, it definitely has met my expectations in the fact that um, it puts a lot less strain on my shoulders, which is great. And uh, it carries a ton of discs for what 
it's what, what it is for what it, um, the company says that it's rated for. It actually carries more than what it's rated for comfortably, especially if you buy the accessories. Um, so I like the accessories that comes with um, that are available for the Zucker cart. And I think it's a well-made product. Um, the aluminum doesn't, uh, or at least the frame, doesn't feel cheaply made at all. It feels very solid. And I like the fact that um, the blue um, compartment can be taken off, the shell can be taken off and put uh, with a different color. So I think that's a cool feature on this cart. So you don't have to buy a whole new cart if you like the size of it and you just want to change colors because, you know, the wind's blowing different that day and you can buy a different one without paying for the full price. I think that's a cool feature that this cart has. And so overall, it definitely has met my expectations. As, as a matter of fact, it met it my expectations so well that I actually purchased uh, another disc golf cart by a different company which I'll do a review later and that one holds a little bit more uh, for bigger tournament rounds that I'm doing and is my go-to cart now so this cart has definitely introduced me to, to disc golf cart life which I'm very happy about so yeah I think this cart is great for people who want to have casual rounds and who are not doing tournaments like every weekend because I know people who do and they're not carrying a ton of stuff on the rounds and some people carry like you know different pop sodas can different cans of uh, of beers and um, they also are uh, you know even their casual rounds they have a ton of drinks a ton of food a ton of uh, personal items that they want to be comfortable with obviously you didn't see me putting any kind of hoodies or extra sweatshirts extra socks in here uh, whereas my other tournament products I do my bags I do carry uh, a rangefinder socks and um, extra hoodies and things like that which you know there's really no room on this cart for that if I'm carrying 20 plus discs so um Anyway, so if someone who's looking for something bigger, Zuka does make a bigger cart that's like almost twice the size, a little bit taller. And um, that one is also probably better for taller people because the seat would be taller and they can sit better. Uh, I found the seat to be comfortable with the cushion. Without the cushion, it was a little hard if I sat on it for quite some time. So um, this seat is perfect for me. I'm five foot one, so it's not the right height for me. So I'm okay with it. But yeah, I think this is great for casual round or short people who want to use it as a seat and who aren't looking to get a full-blown like um, tournament cart. This is perfect for casual rounds. All right, guys, that is my review of the Zuga Cart Compact. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and I will answer them as quickly as I can. Until next time, hope you guys have a great day and hope you guys are out there playing some disc golf and hopefully you get yourself a cart soon if you're looking for a, a cart. All right, I'll see you next time.